Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss CSS positioning. In CSS, there are three different kinds of positioning we can set for an element. The first one is absolute positioning. Using the absolute positioning, we can specify the exact pixel for the element, like where exactly we want to put our element inside the browser. And that particular position will be referenced from the top left corner of your browser's viewable area. So the, uh, from this particular point, we can specify how far we want to go left and how far we want to go uh, down. That particular uh, pixels we can specify in absolute positioning. How we can do that in CSS? Let's see an example. For example, we want our H1 to be positioned absolute. So I can specify one attribute of CSS named position and value for that is absolute. We can specify left 50 pixel that that means I want my H1 to be 50 pixel from the left and I want my H1 to be 100 pixel from the top. So I can simply specify position absolute and left how many pixels you want from left and how many pixel you want from the top you can specify using CSS. Let's see an example for that. For example, I'm creating one file. Inside that I'm writing one h1. Hello world. So if I do not specify anything, as you know, it will start default from here. But I want my h1 to be somewhere around here. I don't want it to be conventionally placed. I want it to be exactly placed when I specify. So what I can do, I can target my H1. I'm targeting my H1, specifying the position to be absolute. I'm specifying how many pixels I want from the top that, for example, I'm specifying 200 pixels and how, how much I want from left side for example i am specifying 100 pixel so when i refresh the page my h1 would be here it would be 200 pixel from the top and 100 pixel from the left actually we cannot specify anything from right or bottom we can only specify from this particular point how many pixels we want to go left and how many pixel we want to go down that we can specify in a absolute positioning but while using the absolute positioning, you're supposed to be very clear how you want to use it. For example, if I create a second H1, I'm specifying two H1s. As we know, we have targeted the H1 tag itself. So both our H1 will be absolutely positioned and the top and left would be the same. So when I refresh the page, it will overlap. Conventionally, if we do not specify anything, the tags never will be overlapped. But if we specify position to be absolute, it simply means when we specify position to be absolute, that simply means we are saying browser that you will not define where you want to put the element. You specify where it should be. So browser will ignore even if it will overlap. So you should be very careful while using the absolute position. The next position is a relative position. Relative position means it will uh, it will start the start point of the absolute is a top left corner. Whereas in relative positioning start point is where it actually should be. For example, we are creating two H1s. We are creating two H1s without any absolute positioning. As we know, this is the position of our first H1 this is the position of our second h1 why we are saying relative is this is its default position if we do not specify anything it will be displayed here but i want that to be somewhere around here 100 pixel from left and 100 pixel from top from this particular point where it actually will be if we do not specify anything that is called a relative positioning. For example, I am specifying a class to this particular H1. C 
CSS POS I'm specifying a class and I'm targeting that particular class and specifying position to be relative I'm specifying some top pixels again and left pixels again so when I specify like this you can see our h1 with a class CSS POS will display here that particular 100 pixel and 100 pixel is not from here if you if we have used absolute positioning it will be from this particular point 100 pixel down 100 pixel left but as we have used a relative uh, way of uh, writing a positioning it will start calculating that point from somewhere around here because if we haven't specified the positioning it will be displayed here so using relative that means where it actually will be displayed if we do not specify from that particular point it will go 100 pixel left and 100 pixel down okay and the last positioning is fixed positioning uh, before starting the fixed positioning we want to see one example of a absolute itself when we specify position to be absolute we have specified many h1s for example currently we are targeting css pos so that would be only targeted to this particular h1 but if we specify many h1s sorry and i'm repeating this particular for many times i want many pages when i refresh the page as you can see this is the our absolutely positioned h1 but when i scroll my page it will scroll with the page it is scrolling with the page and it will hide when we are scrolling down it will go up so when we specify a position to be absolute it will be absolutely from this particular point start of the, your page but we can specify one more kind of a positioning that is called a fixed positioning using the position colon fixed when we specify position to be fixed when we refresh the page there is no difference even if we specify absolute or fixed there is no difference on the first side but when I scroll down the page you can see the h1 with the CSS POS class will stay there only because when we are specifying a position to be fixed it will start counting the position from the this point and even if we scroll it will find that point there only it won't scroll with your scroll okay so three different kinds of positioning one is absolute one is a relative one is a fixed absolute means i want particular uh, exactly that particular point i want my element h1 a relative that means where it should be from that particular point it will find the distance uh, top and left and fix that means exactly from this particular point whatever the scroll amount is okay thank you